Hey everybody, Bugeater back again. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to acid etch a worn out silver coin. So if you have a silver coin that is wiped slick and there's no detail left on it, this trick will actually etch the detail back into the coin so that you can identify it. So I'm going to be doing this with the worn out silver dime from last weekend's episode. The link to that is down in the description. But I hope you're able to use this trick to identify your own worn out silver coins. But anyway, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So in order to acid etch a silver coin, you'll need three things. The first, of course, is your worn out silver coin. The second is silver testing solution. I got mine from JSP in a kit, but there's several other places that sell them. But it contains nitric and muriatic acid, very dilute, so you don't damage the coins. However, this does form silver nitrate as a product. And if you see, I have a paper towel down. You do not want to do this on any surface. You do not want stained bright purple. So... The third and final thing is just water to rinse off the coin. So the procedure here is painfully simple. I do want to remind you again, do not do this on a surface that you care about because the silver nitrate product that forms on top of the coin will stain anything it touches a bright purple and you will not be able to get it out. Trust me, I did it to my sink and now my sink is purple. So in order to do this, all we need to do is just put a layer of the testing solution just over the face of the coin. Be generous with it because you want to completely coat the surface. So now all we need to do is just let it sit for a few minutes while it reacts and then we'll have some detail. So it has been two minutes and I'm going to go ahead and rinse mine now just because I want to get a gauge of the detail levels that I can see. So basically all you'll need to do is take it and drop it in the water there just to get the acid off and then we're going to give it a good rub and see just what we have. So here you can see one dime. So it is a one dime reverse. So this is going to be a seeded dime most likely. And it looks like the newer design, so post 1860. So we'll go ahead and dry that off on the side and get you a better look at it. But yeah, there's your one dime reverse. So now we're going to flip it over and give it a shot on the other side. So again, just a nice thick coating of the silver test acid. And then we'll let this one sit again. So here is the moment of truth. And even through the acid, you can sort of see a seated Liberty design poking through. So again, I did this for two minutes for the first round. I would not advise going more than like four or five minutes because you may pit the surface of the coin. However, this one, it seems like two minutes did the trick. So we'll go ahead and dunk this into the water now and just get the acid off. And there you have it, a seated Liberty dime and it has a date of 1877. So we'll dry this off again so you can get a look without the water on top. But there we have it, 1877 Seated Liberty Dime. So this is a great option if you have a worn out silver coin because you don't know what it is, but when you put the acid on and you etch the worn silver away, it will reveal detail. So thanks again for watching. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Bug Eater, signing out.